hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe like this video to help this channel out drop a comment share with your friends and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i drop another beautiful video so in today's video i'll be teaching you how i install this full lace braided wig how i make it have this realistic look and also how i fix the back section to achieve this realistic look actually starts from the method you use in your air ventilation the spacing and all that but that's not why we are here i'm the one that ventilated the full lace and i'm the one that braided it so this is my sister i want to install it on her hair so i'm going to walk you through the process this is how the braided wig looks like before i applied anything on it so i fixed the hair clip at the back to make the installation more easier the full lace nets usually come with adjustable straps which you can easily put inside any of these holes to make it fit you perfectly while i was braiding it i made sure i leave baby hairs at both front and the back section and the next thing i do is to cut the excess lace of the net i'm the type that like cutting the excess lace before installing it on my head or client's head so if you want to cut this net you are going to be cutting it in zigzag manner not straight zigzag so that it will help in that natural look and this is how it looks like when i'm done cutting the excess lace and here are the material you needed for the tutorial you need the lace tint you need got to be spray you need three in one styling comb you need got to be styling gel and you need elastic band this bad cap is optional but you can use it too i started by spraying lace tints on the lace then i used blow dryer to blow dry it i've already measured the circumference of her head of camera so i'm going to measure 8 inches from the elastic band and cut it out so the next thing i did is by sewing the elastic band on the lace And this is how it looks like when I'm done sewing it. So the next thing to do is by applying got to be styling gel to lay down her edges. I got this bad cap in one of the lush attachments I bought earlier. So I'm using it for the installation. So I continue by placing the cap on her head. Then I use scissors to cut the hair part out. After that, I spray got to be spray on the front hair line, then I blow dry it. And the next thing I did is by cutting the excess wig cap at the front, just like you are seeing in this video. I continue by applying foundation over shade on the bad cap. Then I apply the same foundation on the net. After I'm done doing that, I placed the wig on her head, but she said she doesn't want me to glue the back section down and she wants to be able to pack it as ponytail. So I've already placed the elastic band under the wig cap, so I put the hair clip under the elastic band and it holds, like it holds very well. And I'm very sure you can see that yourself, so I'm going to leave the baby hair just like that. So fixing the front section, I'm going to drag the head down to where the bad car stops. I mean where a hairline stops. So I'm trying to show you here that you can actually wear this wig without applying any glue at all. But she said she wanted to wear it for a very, very long time. Like she wanted to spend days before she can remove it. So I'm going to cut some parts of the hair out. Just like you are seeing, just little parts so that that part can come to the front a little bit. Then I'm going to cut the other side too. So the next thing to do is to apply the glue on the front hairline. So the glue I'm using here is Ghost Bond. I forgot to show it or mention the name while I was showing material needed for the tutorial. So I'm using the 3-in-1 styling brush to apply it gently on the hairline. 
So before I continue with the tutorial, I would like to thank each and every one of you that has been patronizing my small business. God bless you. Aside the wigs, the closures, the front air ventilation you are seeing on my page, I'm also selling wigging and air ventilation material. If you have interest in any of these, you can screenshot it and send this to this phone number you are seeing on your screen. Or if I do not upload what you want, you can just send the picture to me on this same phone number you are seeing on your screen. Thank you. So back to the tutorial. After I'm done applying the glue, I set my blow dryer on cold, then I started blow drying it until it's transparent. After that, I placed the wig on the glue just like you are seeing now. Then I place the elastic band on the hair and tie it. After tying the elastic band, I continue by blow drying it. So the next thing to do is to style the baby hair. So I'm trying to lose it out before I style it. If you have been wondering who my sister has been talking to, she actually talking to her twin sister like she does that day vibing to the song. But me, I'm already tired, like it's late at night. I just want to go home. Just telling them, stop disturbing me, stop coming to the car. But she insisted that she will not stop. So I said, don't worry, I will mention you in my video. So I continue by styling the edges using got to be styling chair. So I'm going to style it off camera because i was already tired recording pausing everything is taking much time i just want to finish everything and go home at this time after i finish styling it i put the elastic band on it then i blow dry it after i finish blow drying it i remove the elastic band to achieve more realistic look i apply the foundation of a shade to the hairline so this part is not necessary but if you notice that the hairline is giving white cast you have to apply the foundation of the person's shade to it to achieve more realistic look so after that i started packing the hair in ponytail because that's what she wanted so we have come to the end of this video so i'm going to show you how the back section looked like after packing it too ponytails so that you can see that you can rock it any how you want this is how the back section looks like like you can see how beautiful it is you can actually pack it to any style of your choice so if you get one or two things from this video please don't forget to like this video to help this channel out drop a comment if you have any questions share with your friends and turn on the education bell to get notified whenever I drop another beautiful video. See you in my next video. Bye!